trident, so no removal. Let's just pop that off. Or, or, you hit him with the heater. Hit him with the heater! Oh, he blocked the big one. First strike eliminates El Death Toucho. So his damage doesn't play, take place, therefore Death Touch does not take place. And that's, uh, you know, scoop territory if you ask me. Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch a little Hello Good Game. We're playing with Mono Red today within Magic the Gathering Arena. Nothing's changed here, it's the same deck with just a little bit of modifications. This is tuned to best of one for the beginners uh, within our community. And again, it just focuses around Annex Harden in the Forge, Ember Cleave, and then if your creatures get dealt with through a wipe, you play down your Torbran to uh, accessorize your 1 1 Satyrs from your Annex. So, you know, as always, we'll break down the deck list in its entirety, talking about each card, the strengths, the weaknesses, why it was chosen to be included within the deck. Next, we'll visit the strategies and synergies. How do all of those cards work together to form a really well working, coherent archetype? Next, we'll check out some gameplay footage where I break down all of the play lines and interactions within the red deck uh, wins and the rest of the meta, which is very diverse right now. It's a lot of fun. And finally, we have our closing thoughts, right? So uh, if you do find any value along this journey, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend, join our Discord so you don't miss out on our 500,000 gem giveaway. We also have free cashed monthly tournaments going on, uh, you know, focused around beginners and free-to-play individuals, Brawl and Artisan, two really friendly formats. So with that all out of the way, let's get right into this mono red deck. Uh, Akum Hellhound is one of the coolest one drops mono red received, in my opinion, within Zendikar Rising. It's a 0-1, so it doesn't look great, and it's a common, so even worse. However, Landfall is so busted that it saves this card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, Akum Hellhound gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Absolutely amazing. Uh, that's going to push it up and make it a 2-3, which we can bash with. Four copies of Fervent Champion, which is a 1-1 one, one with First Strike and Haste. Whenever Fervent Champion attacks, another attacking knight you control gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Equip abilities, you activate that target Fervent Champion, costs three less to activate. Four copies of Shock at instant speed. Shock deals two damage to any target. Spike Field Hazard times two. Uh, we also have Spike Field Cave on one of the sides. Entering tapped, adding a red to our pool. And the Hazard at instant speed, dealing one damage to any target. If a permanent dealt damage this way would die, exile it instead. Into our two drops, two copies of Royal Eruption Sorcery Speed. Kicker for five, seven total. Royal Eruption deals three damage to any target. If it was kicked, uh, it will deal five instead. Robber of the Rich. This is a 2-2 two, two with Reach and Haste. And whenever it attacks, if defending player has more cards in hand than you, exile the top card of their library. You may play this card any turn you've attacked with a rogue, and you can cast mana as though it were any color. A single copy of Rimrock Knight, 3-1, cannot block. Boulder Rush for 1 at instant speed. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. Two copies, sorry, three copies of Cargon Intimidator. This is a 3-1, and cowards can't block warriors. We can pay 1 to choose one that hasn't been chosen yet this turn. The Intimidator gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Target creature becomes a coward and therefore cannot block warriors until end of turn. And target warrior gains trample until end of turn. Into our three drops, we have Bone Crusher Giant 4 3. And whenever it becomes the target of a spell, it will deal two damage to that spell's controller. It has Stomp at instant speed as the adventure, dealing two damage to any target, and damage can't be prevented this turn. Four copies of Annex Harden in the Forge. Its power is equal to your devotion to red. It has three toughness. And whenever another non uh, sorry, whenever Annex or another non token creature you control dies, create a 1 1 red Seder creature token that cannot block. And if that creature's power was four or greater, create two of those Seder tokens instead. Two copies of Torbrand Thane of Redfell. This is a 2-4, and if a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent or permanent an opponent control, it deals that much damage, plus two. Four copies of Ember Cleave for six flash, costing one less to cast for each attack and creature we control, and when it enters the battlefield, we get to automatically equip it to a creature we control. Equipped creature receives plus one, plus one, and double strike and trample, and then we can re-equip it to anything at sorcery speed for three. We've got 18 mountains and four castle Embers, in which we can pay four 
uh, to give all of our creatures plus one plus one so that's the deck list as far as our strategy goes it's very basic you guys uh you know you want to play your annex on turn three and you want to cleave on turn four uh your turn two and one need to be filled up with creatures so if they get removed they make the satyr tokens uh so you know your first drop is ideally a hellhound or a fervent champion your ideal two drop is either your intimidator or your rimrock knight and then your ideal three drop is annex and then your ideal four drop is amber cleave onto your annex with everybody attacking right uh you know if they use shatter the sky something that removes your creatures so you can't do that anymore and you've got a bunch of one one satyr creatures from annex you can play torbrand and they all will hit for three instead of one and that should be enough to close out the game because if they field wipe they would have removed their creatures uh as well so you would have just had a bunch of one ones you play this on top and they all attack for lethal easy peasy lemon squeezy there's really cool things you can do uh there's lots of croxas in the meta it sacrifices itself hit it with a spike field and it will exile itself which is really cool um you know there's also things like the bone crusher giants uh and you know other stuff like the shock that can be utilized within your first strike capabilities to allow your fervent champion to survive uh the interaction um killing the blocker or whatever right other than that you know make sure that you're reducing the cost of your ember cleave to play on your annex and smash your opponent easy peasy lemon squeezy this is one of the easiest decks to pick up and learn how to play uh, efficiently and well to reach mythic with so you should have uh no excuses if you want to reach mythic just play best of one with this mono red deck and it will get you there uh certified top 1000 deck and i myself have a positive win rate uh within the percentages of mythic as well so thanks for your time and attention don't forget to like comment subscribe share to a friend i'm live on youtube every morning at 6 a.m mountain standard and then we switch over to twitch you know all the links for everything is around you'll find them i believe in you and we're also using the magic the gathering arena assistant today that's the overwolf link in the description below deck stats deck write-ups deck videos metagame analysis and overview and so much more check that out and if you want to support financially you can do so on twitch patreon youtube and the newly incorporated amazon link make sure to do your christmas shopping through that boys and girls i appreciate you make sure to watch to the end and uh yeah we'll see you in a few minutes playing first Torbrand Cleave, two hounds. That might get us there. Give it a wolf, right? Always works. If we can pull an annex in the land, then you'll get a wolf. Oof. Oof. Hopefully we interrupted their land drop. Nope. Um, yeah, not good. Not the good to see. Too much removal. Not that it matters. Just playing down. We got like six inches of snow outside already. Feeling like warming up. I'm, I'm double hoodied. Right? Hashtag. Let's say enough. Uh, someone's. It's not really a hashtag, I guess, but that's just uh, a true sign of whether or not someone's Canadian. It's like, how many hoodies are you wearing right now? Why are you so thick? <laughs> like we just walk around all like the Michelin men. It's the only way. Go for a dip in this magma pool, maybe. Sploosh. What's up with the removal? All right, we just need to land, man. We just need to land. More removal. Yeah. That's final we'll toss tour brown. Alright, uh, they've got plenty in the grave. There it is. Alright, hit for five. We need some burn spells off the top to just close out the game, right? I don't think we're gonna get many attacks in. We lose our cleave if he plays it. No, we just lose Toranos. 
They take two damage. We pull an annex. We can cleave next turn. Plus one. Hit for four, down to five. Hashtag math. Alrighty, Liliana will have us discard an Ember Cleave. They're gonna lose whatever this is though. No, just minus X, okay. It's not reveal or cleave. <laughs> Why bring out the big guns if you don't need them? Oh my gosh. We're playing a best of one deck. I didn't even realize this was, this was best of one. I've been so used to crushing best of three for you guys and just trying to break down the sideboard that uh, I didn't even pay attention. I just click play. Play, 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 right? So if you guys are new to Magic the Gathering Arena, traditional... Uh, refers to playing three matches. Um, you know, as little as two, as many as three. You need to get two wins to win the match overall, right? Um, so typically, beginners will play best of one because sideboarding, A, requires more cards. Uh, B, requires, you know, a, a little bit more of a, a predetermined conception of what the meta is and how to interact with it. Um, right? And then I think it takes more time as well uh, for C, I guess, so it's maybe not as friendly. Maybe a lot of beginners haven't dedicated, you know, hours of their week to play Magic yet. They're just, like, just checking it out. So let's see if we can win two in a row uh, without any changes, just uh, straight-up aggronies. I mean, this looks great. If we can pull out fourth land, Torbrand, Embercleave. Or uh, Annex is what I'd like to pull. Sorry, I said Torbrand, but I'd, I'd rather pull Annex. Um. <laughs> Let's just pick it off. It's not great. Uh, wasted mana, whatever. Um, the zombies, I guess, could be annoying. Two, two, two zombies, right? It's your boy. No attacks. Let's keep this Torbrand and just try to flood the field. And then if there's a wipe, uh, which I don't think there will be from Rakdos, but if they wipe, like, uh... What they do have is the uh, Eat to Extinction or whatever, which is Exile All, and that's it's not going to help our Annex out any, right? It's, they'll deal with everything. They, it, it, oof. Oof. Oh. Sacrifice our champion. Intimidator. We pull a cleave, we sack the champion, we get the 1-1. One, one. We need to go wide. We need to be aggro, we can't afford to go slow. Let's hit for four. Maybe there's a block. I would love that block. Right? Just get that zombie out of there because I'm a little worried about losing. Hmm. We're on the play, though, next match, right? Um, so if you get the choice always, if you guys are beginners again, uh, whether to play first or draw first, you always want to be playing first. We have the blocker for Rankle that makes the token. 
if we can drop a land and play Torbran. Be cool if we kept the Hound in play and Boulder rushed the robber to kill Rankle. That would have been the play there. Here's another Kroxa. I wish we got a land for that hound. They have two mana. It could be some form of removal. Let's see blockers first. I almost want to not cleave Annex because I think they have removal for two. Right? They had an eliminate, didn't they? Oh, they do have extinction events too. Eliminate is instant speed for two, three, or less. They're going to kill Annex. So now if they kill Annex, it's not the worst. Right? We're still getting this Ember Cleave damage in. Yeah, they are, right? So we would have lost our value of the cleave and our 1-1 one, one would have died in the blocking. So we kind of read or felt that they had, uh, you know, that instant speed interaction. It ended up not being an eliminate. It was a heartless act, but it was still instant speed removal for two on Annex. If we... No, don't make us discard Torbran. They're doing it. Oh, no. That's bad. That was our victory, is by drawing the land play Torbran. Um, sploosh. Okay. Not good. And this is a blocker now. LOL. Ah! We'll hit for four. Kill Kroxa, which can come right back. Hit for four, down to eight. Ranko blocks champion, Kroxa blocks hellhound. Really? What? All right, hellhound survives. They're down to three. And Krox is still in play, which they could have replayed it. We're gonna get hit for a lot here though. Oh, the gaining life sucks. Um, they can't attack too much though. They could Ox. Does Ox have haste? No. So we're getting hit for 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 13 total. Again, okay. Not the not the full amount. Only 9. They want the blockers up. That makes sense. Oh! It's not a land. So we're going to get 4 damage in. I think we just Ambrose. <laughs> that two life from the Triton saves them. Really? That's incorrect. That's lethal. 
There's removal in hand. Nice. Ah. If we held off, had them do that, and then bone crushed, we could have had them. Good game. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. Okay, okay. Again, missing out on our sideboards here. I uh, made the biggest misplay of all, taking a best of one deck into best of three. Our opponent gets two sideboard right against us, taking all of their extinction events, and you know we are just left begging, begging for a good opening hand. We need a one drop. We need a two drop. We need a three drop, and we need an Emmer Cleave. On top of that, we need them to miss their extinction event, right? Uh, we need to, or no, Extinction Event is four, so that will be their turn four. We, as long as we hit our cleave on our turn four, uh, before their turn four, it should be all right. Um, but again, that's the ideal play line, and ooh, we need an annex and we need a cleave. We have one drop, two drop, three drop. They're going slow. Let's get after it. Hitting for five. We need a one drop next turn. Ah, oh, dang Trident. We first uh, strike, but... Keep the haste in hand and uh you know i'm not gonna just take punishment from this trident no, let's go no annex in play we don't get the satyr whatever dps baby <laughs> i want to do it i want to do it i want to do it we'll hold off they're gonna make us discard it i know it we're gonna see removal here on the robber Sure. Good play. Hit for another five, down to eleven. Mm. If they play that stupid trident, we're gonna bounce it off the field. Um, you know, we may need to discard it, is the sad thing if it's a Kroxa. Don't shoot there. Okay, it's a zombie, which we can stomp. Right? A Miller extinction event. Praise the Lord. God is good. <laughs> Stop. I think we just go for it. There's no annex. Let's roll. Woo -wee! Down to two, baby. Um. Any target? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We have lethal in our hand. And even though we didn't have a sideboard, we were able to bank off playing first twice, right? We played first in our first match, we won, then our opponent got to choose who played first, and they chose to play first, they won, and then we get to choose who plays first, we play first, and we win. Oh no, they get the discard, you dog. Uh, we're going wide though, baby. Sploosh. Good game. Nice. You know, I played my best of one decks in uh, best of three, just so I gain rank better. <laughs> All right, so here's a pretty cool tech. Luris could be rogues, probably Kroxa, right? Keeping seven, spike field hazard. Does one damage, doesn't kill Kroxa, but Kroxa sacrifices itself. And whenever a uh, permanent that's been dealt damage with the hazard dies, it goes into exile. So it's pretty cool um, to be able to deal with that. But we see the island, so I'm going to say Lurus Rogues. Oh, what? Lurus Enchantments? Horus? Let's land out. Let's 
Rogaroni. Okay, and just, uh, okay, it's gonna be a Zord's Blink, maybe. Two to the top, so look out, world. Four damage. Not quite five, but four's fine. Too much land. We need an annex off the top, please. Well, I mean, that is something. We're gonna keep this for later. There's no haste here, I believe. Da, 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 da. No, so we're gonna keep our hazard up. And we should probably just hazard right now. I got rubbed the wrong way the other day by this outside of life's bounty. I don't care for it. Just go away. Um, whoa. Big brain plays, baby. They could grab life but die. Oh no. This just got weird. Life gain? Life gain? Oh my god, stop it. I will double block the heck out of you, baby. You better have a commander's blessing, and if you do, I'm scooping. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Just had the perfect hand. I had to try to call their bluff. Wowzers. Can't play land on our turn, so this may as well hit for two. We can block for four, though. So, settle down, Al Sad. I ain't giving you that draw. Oh my god. In what world? In what world? Ah. Every kiss begins with K. Woof. Alright you guys, we've been trying to play with actual a tier deck for a little bit because we've been playing so much jank. Um, we were in like top 13, top 1000, we're down in like 90s now. Not great. Um, obviously more people join Mythic as the month continues to progress, so... Uh, that's just organic, but still! We gotta get back up to our 15s. Ideally. Right? Crawling Barons is a very good card. For 4, they can put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, which don't go away. No land here is like, it's tough to see coming attacked with her. Spike field hazard. I guess it would be spike field caved. Um, hazard is the damage spell, but. Cycling? God damn, we need land. <laughs> Let's just stop the damage output. The question is do they have Lurus main deck? Or is it just straight cycling? I don't know why they would have Bone Crusher Giants. Like, it just seems strange. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with it. Hopefully, okay, they do get the land. Kind of annoying, actually. Raider. Let's pull our third land, play our Annex, if not. Jesus. Hit for three. They have less cards than us already. We need Annex out before the wipe. If there is one, there probably is. Like, if they're not using a actual list, then there must be other jank, right? Not that Bone Crusher Giant's jank. It is just jank within. That, see, I knew it. I knew it. Where the fog is our land? Wow. Sitting on triple annexes. What a life. 
You can do it. You can. Why wouldn't you play the fox? And why wouldn't you draw a land? We take two, and we trade. Not great, but just deal with it. Right, that Robert's not going to save us. Oh no, that rescuer's saving them, though. Statistically, we almost have to draw land off the top right now. So if we don't, um, I'm just saying it's the game client's fault. <laughs> You're lucky, Magic. I almost had to go on the forms like everybody else. No, it, it happens plenty. Uh, I used to play Paper Magic, actually, and it got to the point where I was blaming my draw hands on myself so badly that, uh, you know, I went and bought a professional card shuffler for, like, a casino to shuffle my deck for me. <laughs> Not a word of a lie. And it happened with me. It happened with the professional machine that cost a bunch of money, and it happens with the game clients. So, um, you know... Beg as we might, sometimes things are just tricky. I think we need the first strike to pick up that rescuer. You know, we may as well just take out their token generation engine as well. So, this can't block, it can go in. Did we got hit with a flare, didn't we? Chandra, this is so janked up. I'm embarrassed to lose against it. We lose our first strike, really. Mmm. That's so tasty. Thank you. May I have another? Getting hit for four here. Plus Chandra just does two damage. So getting hit for like too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going straight for it. It can't block, so go. Trade. It still dies. At least we have four defense. And now that's the real key for me here. Is uh, we can block. Don't you dare. An Ugin in a cycle back that can get cast! I just want to cry. I've never been beaten by such a bad deck. Wow. This is some uh, 1200 IQ shit. That's insane. Alright, we can't have that luck too much. Three land, go. Right, that's all I need to see. If you have three land in a red deck, and it's just whatever those other things are, it doesn't matter. Just three land, go. That's my opinion. I played a lot of red, and two land, you still go. If you've got good cards, um, but let's get out there. Hellhound in play. Mm, they're going slow. Holding up our Bone Crusher Giant. Racked us so much Rakatonis. Step on them. Two lands off the top, good for them. Giant in play, that's a decent body. Hit for two. Down to 18. First blood has been established. Well, I guess that's not first blood. They gained two life. We already hit them for two. Passage in play for the third land, the hold up removal. Oh, comes in taps, right? Trident, so no removal. Let's just pop that off. Or, or, you hit him with the heater. Hit him with the heater! Oh, he blocked the big one. First strike eliminates El Death Tacho. 
So his damage doesn't play, take place, therefore Death Touch does not take place. And that's, uh, you know, scoop territory if you ask me. They could wipe it, but we still have a couple tricks up our sleeve with our Intimidator, unblockable damage. 2-2, two, two, which we can zap and just hit for lethal. Every kiss begins with K. Cargon Intimidator, that is. Bleep. Bloop. Blop. Blop. Bleep. Bloop, 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 bloop. Got him. My six. That's not too heavy, but we need to repeat these wins now. All right, we're winning matches finally. Casting Embercleave on turn three is just like, or even turn four, either or, both are great. Mono red on mono red. You dog. All right, we're not blocking. Should we just eat it? Oh, we definitely got to eat something. Full land, that's better than alternative. Kill that before Annex is in play. And we hit two because we can't block. We're behind, but, you know, if we can play our Annex and not have them play an Annex, we'll be good. Wow, they didn't play anything. And we pulled ours... Ask and ye shall receive. All right, if there's removal, it has to hit here. Doesn't look like it. Let's do it up. Kind of bring that gap of our health points closer together. We've got better field presence. We also have a full hand. Okay, here's a 1 1 for that. Um, they should have faked me. I would have let the damage go through. Robber. Land. I guess it doesn't, we could have done that first. Um, yeah. I think we still just want to save this spike field hazard. Or use it now so they can't block. And then we can just hit without any stress, right? Land off the top. Bing, bang, bongo. And we have a card to nuke their next defender. Kicker for five. Seven total. Ugh. All right, we get the 1-1 one, one here. Not really bad for us at all. Four lands. So if we pull a Torbrand, that's awesome. Mono Red doesn't... Well, I guess they have Storm's Wrath, but I don't think they run it, right? Not Mono Red Aggro. So we could go ahead and uh, just progress if we did pull a Torbrand. We can hit for an additional three. Good game, right? So quick consecutive wins is the name of the game. All right, we're gonna keep seven, two lands, Annex in play. So we kind of talked about how you, if you have three, you just go. If you have two, I'm, I mean, Every kiss begins with K. <laughs> no one drop. Playing against rogues. Yeah, one island equals rogues, right? Can't equal anything else. Doesn't compute. Like, that equation doesn't balance itself. Ooh, could be just a mere control, maybe. Thou shalt stand corrected. We need more land. We need our third land. We cannot afford to play off of our curve and for two we don't pull we've got too many cards in hand we know they've got a lot of removal they're playing slow there's the third land thank you annex in play we're talking about cleave we're talking about cleave if it hits we have no cards in graveyard it has to be an old-fashioned counter Right, Yalri's Disruption. No, Heartless Act before it hits, so there's no 1-1 one, one Seder. Fine. You do you, bro. No cleave unless we pull a land, is what that equals. And, you know, I might go wide because there's lots of removal, right? So we shouldn't put all of our eggs 
in a single annex basket. Uh, let's go wide and let Torbrand do some of the lifting when we get there. Solemn Simulacrum's good. So all of the colorless kind of scares me. Uh, you know, it just immediately yells Ugin, and that's frightening. We don't want that really uh, ever. Oh, no land, eh? We don't really want to wrap them, is the thing. So we're going to just utilize Operation Go Wide. Sure, take the land, whatever. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Let's take our damage. That's cool, down to 15, right? Uh, that activates the cleave next turn. If we can get there, uh, it will go to 4 and then 5, 6. So 6, 6, double strike trample, plus the 3, 1 on the side. It's potentially 15 damage if unmitigated. Uh, but they already have the 2-2, two -two, and I'm sure some form of removal. Ooh! Ooh! So at the very best, it's a 2-3. Very worst, Annex in our hand, and we toss a cleave. So we still get to cleave, which is great. We need a fourth land so the Intimidator is unblockable. Or... No, that doesn't work. But we do get our Bone Crusher Giant. Let's take it. I just turned on my Halloween playlist. Oh gosh, you guys. Join the Discord for some just classic music. I'm always hitting the, the music front here. So this is going through, eh? I'm gonna keep them both alive. What? Right, just keeping our field alive. Get Ashok out of here. We're at 20 life. I don't care about your 2 damage. What I care about is Uganos, right? Uh, that's an exile effect. Minus X. Scry to the top. Not good. Our opponent's sitting on 6 land. They're 2 away. Uh, we almost don't want to kill the Simulacrum because that's their 7th land. Uh, gets them closer to their 8th. That's their 7th now, so... <laughs> ah! You know that one of those is big boy. What if we just went for it? I thought we had an additional land there. There's removal here. We have 20 life, so it's just like, whatever, man. You figure it out. We still hit for, what, 14 here? No. For nothing. Nothing! <laughs> so if there's an Ugin, uh, it's lame. They're taking a dig for it. Instant or sorcery, right? Not the worst. They're figuring out what they need to deal with. Oh, we're evens and odds. So evens gets Torbrand, odds gets Annex. Either way, I'm not too sad about that. Oh god, now they're all even. That is very good. That's a, a, a one-two combo. That's real good. I like that. Honestly, that's a good move. 
Good for you. Uh, we're gonna Ember Cleave Robber. <sighs> do we hit for six or do we go wide? Let's see what we top deck. They want to scry before this hits so they can engineer what I see. If it's good, it can go to the bottom. If it's bad, it can stay on top. If not, they do it after to just utilize their draw. Hmm. We can't play this, the land is the thing. And I think we already played our land, so. Down to 11. Cling to Dust is going to be actively gaining them life. I think I should just went in with the giant as a 4-3 to cleave it later on. It's trying to be greedy with the robber. It's like, let's let's get something good, right? Every time the robber uh, it hits you, it pulls your best card, right? <laughs> so I was like, well, let's get their best card. But this vision does nothing for us. It's our end step. Uh, we're just waiting on them. They have a uh, you know trigger being held up within Maze Mind Tome. When they sack that, they gain four life, so that's a thing. Not good for our sakes, right? Plus they've got a, a deep field, another Ashiok. Uh, we keep the robber, toss the cleave. If it's a minus, I hope it is. No. That's a little harder to deal with. What do we get? Should we use the vision or should we just... We might need to just Emberth here. We survive anyways. And we only deal three. But if we go up, which I think is our best bet, just to try to really efficiently deal with this Ashiok. Uh, this way we hit for five down to one. Better than not. Tome and play. We need to go wide is the thing. Ashok can make a shenanigano. They have four mana available. Could be a cling for life. It could be, you know, a number of terrifying things. Any removal on us sucks without an annex in play. And uh, typically, you know, we don't like aggro matches to go this long. Fervent Champion really spices things out for us. Hmm. Alright, let's see how this plays out. We have another cleave from our hand, which, you know, they might not be considering. Do we just take it? Let's just try to draw something, I guess. I think another Bone Crusher Giant could be all right. Uh, so we lose our champion. It's okay. Both of these need to be cast on their turn, so they're basically useless unless they're trying to interact with us on our own turn. They're going to cling again. Just as a control deck, your main objective is to uh, lengthen the time of the matches, right? Because I have less utility and they have stuff to gain utility, right? Like this tome is making things more consistent. It's gaining them life. It's like speeding up the draw so they're not running out of resources. Seagate Restoration, that is disgusting. I guess we just go for it, right? It's a big hit. Simulate Chrome, which we can't cast. Dang it. 
<laughs> it's big damage, right? Down to five. And our turn. You know how we were worried about Ugin earlier? I think it's time. <laughs> you know, we do have one odd, so if there's an extinction event that hits even, we keep our Bone Crusher Giant, but you know how we've seen them kind of two time us with that? I think you know, they could easily just remove the Bone. Ah, uh, Ugin! Nice. Minus six, and that looks to be the last piece. If we can pull haste, we can pull one damage. I want to just try to get there. This dumb thing's going to be gaining them life. Uh... Screw you, man. There's a cleave. We'll re-equip it for three instead of six. Sp spending our mana, whatever. I'm pretty sure this game's over. It's never supposed to go this long. And they have a full mitt. The only reason... Oh, uh, and lifelink immediately has been played. So that's going to be game. There's no way we deal more than two damage per turn off of a draw. Right? Oh man, that doesn't hurt though. The thing is, you know we've got Essence Scatters in their deck, and... I mean, maybe if they've got nothing. You know what I mean? There's more Riders. Yeah. Just GG's. We get the two tokens. That's a thing. Um, seven. We could Cleave for three. Emberth for four. Right? Always trying to... Oh, that's the fourth. Four more life. They go up to nine. That... Makes it impossible. Right? And that, is that like what? Their third freaking tome they've done so far? Their second? Feels like three. Regardless, eight extra life. They'd be uh, donezo. But. That's okay. We'll do our best. Try to play the match out for what it is. Up to 11. Oh my god. Cleave. It gets removed, we scoop. Let's push up, let's push up. Wait for seven. Did we do it? Eight, actually. Woo -hoo! Down to three. Again, we're so close. They've gained so much life this match. It's not even funny. At least 10 life they've gained. Oh, plus this three times. Uh, so another nine life. Oh, yeah, they've gained like almost 20 life. And we're still close. They're really looking for that scry. It is our end step though, so they'll get a full turn with untapped mana. They get an attack for two. Damage doesn't matter, life gain does. And then they've got clink to dust, which they can gain more life off of. Uh, only three in the grave though, and that requires five from the grave. Okay, here's the removal. Disgusting. There are five. We need some haste, baby. Um, a robber? <sighs> Man, this is upsetting. A robber would have been cool. We could have hit for six and had seven in hand. I'm just saying, the, the outs exist. And that's kind of why I like to play the matches to their end. The out exists. I think we're done here though. There's no way they don't have access to stuff in there. Like another Ugin, for example. It could be just a counter for the shock at this point. There's the negate. Shoot! I was debating whether we just played as a creature. Sploosh. So we lose the giant, it goes to the grave. Ah! This is still a match somehow. These scries are going to bury us alive as well. We 
We are doing our best, you guys. Our opponent's down to 20 cards in deck. We're not a mill deck. And we've almost played this match out to its entirety. Woof. Taking this, uh, what is it, Salt Eye? Salt Eye control to its limit? Yaz. Big money, big money, big m medium money here, I guess. If only it had haste. If only it had haste. If only it had haste. You know what I mean? Maze Mind Tome. They still have 11 mana available. 9 mana available. They should have scried first. They just remove it. Dang it! Those MDFC lands are pretty good, even though it costs 4 when you're this late in game. Not so shabby. That activates their cling to dust. They can go back up to 6 life now. Empty graveyard, though. Down to 16 cards. Man, if we could grab a shock. There's negates and stuff though, right? <sighs> More lands. Pushing their draw. Another tome. They're really trying to escape that damage. Let's go for a shock, baby. No, but that still does enough damage. There has to be a counter. Or removal. There's no way we get a win here. I absolutely do not believe it. Zero percent, but... If we get it, I'm gonna lose my mind. We know they have it. Just play it. Play your removal. They're gonna draw. Maybe they don't have it. This is weird, man. <sighs> Shark for eight. We can deal six and seven. It escapes us is the thing. So we're better off just to turn that damage inwards. Dang it! Oh, oh we're getting close, but I think these sharks are gonna eat us. Man, I wish it was a seven seven. There's no way we pull Bone Crusher Giant off the top. Sitting at 7.41% for the Bone Crusher. A Royal Eruption at 3.7 will also work, and a Shock at 3.7 will also work. That's an Embereth and good game. Very good game. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. We'll get hit with our shark here. Oh my lantern. I played the cleave so they, they knew we didn't have anything. Oh, and they killed their shark. Wow, nice. Ten cards left. I mean, we know it was a defeat. If they want to mill themselves, that's fine. But that just seems silly. Oh my goodness gracious, that was a long match before this. We'll do one more, right? We should be able to close it out pretty quick and then... We'll have our final thoughts and talk about all of that good stuff. Playing first is, you know, really, really helpful. We know this. We want to close this out as quickly as possible. 
This is Tamir Control again for another. Th oh, removal. We need to get rid of that crap so soon. We might even double down on it for three. Let's just search around from the top. Even though we get blocked, let's just took a uh, card. It's a scatter. That's great. They mill an annex, which we couldn't have dropped anyways. That's okay. I'm gonna seize me. I don't really see them drawing a ton. I'll shock it. Or boulder rush it, better yet. Smart. Go wide. All I'm gonna see is gonna take a couple turns to draw that many cards. It's okay. Two land plays to three. You know, we're at 50 cards still. We just need our third land. Bubble snare. We ain't doing jack anymore with you, Rimrock. Or a robber. I don't know why I was thinking it was Rimrock. <laughs> I guess because it uh, can no longer defend. Get out of here. There's nothing to deal with that. But well, maybe there is on their end. They could give it a defensive points or something. Okay, we dealt with the crab. All clear. We get to attack now. Only for three, not for the full five. Sucks, but whatever. We need that third land. Right? It's about a 40.4% chance to draw our next land. Oh, Sternus Missile. That's alright. That should be, you know, dealt to our Ember Cleave target, but... Maybe they've got more petty thefts, something later on, I'm sure. We got this. Cycling a seize for a draw up to three, that's their turn. Should be fine. Pulling our third land. Oh, let's get non haste out first. It's not like we're drawing from their deck either, so. Just playing our card. Alright, hits the field. They have four cards, they'll draw to five. That's our turn. Up to four. This needs to have, what, seven? Eight counters on it. Wow, look at this land. Look at that land, man. All right, Robber in play. We have five, they have four, another dismissal. I would have bounced uh, the other one, just as it doesn't have haste. Robert can enter and attack immediately. This would enter, have summoning sickness, and then attack, right? So you can get a little more bang for your buck by bouncing non-haste creatures, or you just shut them down. Huh.
All right, we're getting close to this 8-8, which is actually a little bit annoying to me. Right, shutting down our attackers really sucks. Wow, it goes to 9. That's not good. How are we going to deal with this 8-8? Just chump block it and hit around it? Oh my god. I don't even know. Another crab? Are you serious? This guy's just laughing. Wow. This is so annoying. Goodness gracious. Let's try to go wide. No attacks. We need them to tap before we go wide. Not that that... Oh my god. Wow. Not bad. Not bad, Mono Blue. Not bad. One, two, three. What do we do? Do we push this thing up? Or do we push this thing up? Let's try to go around them. It's a ton of damage. Not quite enough, but we've got these Bone Crusher Giants in hand, which should, keyword should, be able to close it out, help us win. We're at 20 life, so we can take 8. They need to block. We're at 25, so that's be a big mill if they get it. No, just taking a big draw. I mean, that helps the Cs, but we're able to just go over top. We've got 3 damage spells that do it in hand. Getting by with the skin of our teeth. Nice. That's their third bubble snare. Playing defensive. And we just uh, hit him with the infernal spark. Every kiss begins with K. And we sneak out with a win to close out the video. Oakley Dokley, Mono Red's a beast. We got caught in one of the most satisfying matches I've had in a while. We lost, but we did so much damage. They gained so much life, and we still almost had them. Uh, what a match. Thanks for your time and attention. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend. You guys know our live schedule. You know about the gem giveaway, the free cash prize tournaments every month. There's so much going on. Don't miss out. Share the channel to a friend, and we'll see you again later with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Take care. Nice. Nice. Nice.